With my who? The outro. Oh, no. just something that I said. I don't, I don't know. I just came up with it in my mind. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Y'all ready to eat? I'm starving. I got my all up where the pan is. What is it? It's, the, I, she threw her fan up. My, I mean, her pig up. It's all the way up where the fan is. How y'all doing today? tell you guys what was in it. Um, okay. I'll send it to you after after I get off, okay? Um, all right. Already made. It is kale, here's a kale salad with some sunflower seeds, sun dried tomatoes. Okay, it has some avocado. Can you give us more elderberry, please? Um, some avocado. Some red, some red um, onions, the purple onions, whatever you, whatever you call them, I don't know. Purple onions, I don't know, whatever. Um, <laughs> we got avocados in here, and then the um, little apple cider vinegar, okay, a dash of sugar just to knock out some of that sweetness, some sunflower seeds. Yeah. And um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's it. All right. So that's gonna be part of my part of my dinner. So remember, whenever you're eating, try to if even if you're not doing raw vegan or vegan at all, make sure that three fourths of your dinner is at least vegetable. Half of your dinner is vegetable. Job. Please. Half of your dinner should be vegetables, okay? Um, that's going to keep you regular. That's going to keep you. Um, that's going to keep you regular and things flowing really well. Plus, it's important to get your greens in, okay? So I have the. Um, I have the um, salad, okay? That's the salad. All right. And um, I wonder if, yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, that's the salad. So 
that one was already made. Like I said, I just chopped up some kale, some onions, some sunflower seeds, avocado, threw a dash of apple cider vinegar and a little sugar in there to take off a little bit of that, um, that bitterness. You know, just like some raw cane sugar. Take off some of that bitterness. Um, take off some of that bitterness. Okay, so um, the meat of our meal is going to be the avocado. So let me just cut this up real quick. Okay, so I'm going to eat both halves personally because I'm starving and I'm just, that's what I'm going to do. So first I'm going to pit them. How are y'all doing tonight? Y'all doing all right? Doing good? You really ain't got to be all this cute about it. But this is about as fancy as y'all going to get with me. Okay? Y'all already know. I'm very lazy about this. Okay? Very lazy about this. All right. The reason I'm going to put them in here is because I'm going to toss them in some dressing and things before. Um... I'm going to toss them in some dressing and things before there we go. Before I put them back into the avocado. Okay. So let's do this. Zamara, if I say stop running again, you're going to sit down for the rest of the night. All right. All right, so here we go. Avocado in. All right, avocado is in. I wonder if my video look as ashy to, to y'all as it does to me on Facebook. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. All right. All right. Throw that on in there. Now I'm just going to season up some of my avocado. With a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt. Not a lot, y'all. Be careful with the salt. A little bit of herb, garlic herb powder. Okay. Actually, I don't want garlic herb. I actually want ginger. I started placing all of my um, garlic herb, garlic with ginger personally. If it's a personal preference, you ain't got to do it. Um, but it kind of goes by Dr. Sabi's alkaline diet. Trying to be more. Oh, I just cooked for your for myself, Lau. <laughs> I just cooked for myself. I, um, I'm a very lazy, lazy cook when it comes to the vegan lifestyle. So I just cook for myself and I just share ideas on things that you can make at home that doesn't take long. Um, but you know, you, you know, you never know. You never know. You never know what uh, opportunity uh, presents itself, okay? But um, I hope you're doing well as well. <laughs> so I'm just going to add a little slap your mama seasoning to it, okay? Because we want to, you know, slap your mama. Don't slap me, okay? Don't slap me and slap your mama. All right, <laughs> so we got some everything uh, bagel seasoning that we're going to throw in there. And we're just going to take a couple of sun-dried tomatoes. We're going to take a couple of sun-dried tomatoes. And I'm actually going to cut this up a little bit. Or chop it up a little bit. So give me a second. Okay. Let me get my little... Hey, um, can Zamara's iPad, Zendel's, um, number should be already on it. He says he wants to talk to her. All right. All right. So, I'm going to take, I took like four of these little halves to make, I guess, two holes. <laughs> and I'm just going to chop it up. I'm just going to chop it up. I did talk to one of my coven sisters today who said that she's been raw vegan since 2005. She's been raw vegan since 2005, y'all. I don't even, 
I wow, that's like amazing to me. Um, definitely hope that one day I can get to that point of being raw vegan um, and everything. We'll see. <laughs> I do like a, a a warm meal. I can't even lie. I do like a warm meal. But raw vegan is dope, y'all. It always makes me feel good. This is day three, and I'll be honest with you. Like once I just. Like I said before, like once I say I'm going to do something at this point, you know, I just kind of do it and there's really no hesitation on my end. But, um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe instead of 30 days this month, this time I'll do 60 days. Push myself a little bit further. We'll see. So I'm going to add these sun-dried tomatoes to the avocado mixture. And then I'm going to just Okay, let's see. Let's see how this tastes first and see. Mm. Y'all, this tastes so good. All right. Mm. I think I want a little bit more of my season. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Hopefully that does not fuck up my whole meal. Because I definitely took the top off instead of opening up the top. So let's see. Hopefully that doesn't make it too peppery. All right. So let's see. Mm. No, they didn't fuck it up at all, actually. So there is the avocado mixture. Okay. There's the avocado mixture. And then I'm just going to stuff the avocado halves back with the mixture that I've created. Okay. And then, um, okay, I'll just throw all this back in there. There we go. Oh, y'all can't see. Uh -oh. There, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> What's up, y'all? All right. So there goes my salad and my avocado mixture. Okay. And then I'm going to just drizzle. Ooh. Man, that's so good. Okay. And then I'm just going to drizzle. Actually, you can add, I can add a little bit of water. Um, do I, you know, you know what? Instead of the. Okay. So, I'm going to add some of this. Um cauliflower queso cheese. Okay. Man, this is going to be good. But before I do that, listen, don't say nothing about me uh, looking on this spoon and putting it in this container. This is my hummus. This is my business. Mine yours. Okay? My business, mine, yours. All right. All right. So I'm going to just put a dollop, a dollop of hummus. <laughs> a dollop of hummus. All right. Just a dollop of hummus on each side. Mm. Mm. Listen. Lazy vegan eats. Okay. Oh, it's going to be so good. All right, this is my container of queso, so please, I don't want to hear your mouth about what I'm about to do. All right, and then I'm just going to drizzle. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> Y'all see all these vegetables on my plate? Okay. When I say half to three-fourths of your plate should be covered in vegetables, this is what the fuck I'm talking about. 
And to be honest with you, I probably want to eat all this just to be for real, for real, because I don't know. I might because I really ain't ate nothing all day. <laughs> I snack on cashews and I mean um, pistachios all. Y'all need to have some stock or something pistachios for real because the way I be eating these pistachios every day, it really should be a sin. Okay, it really is uncalled for. But that's my business, and I'm sticking to it, and you should really mind your own business, okay? Judge your mama, don't judge me. All right, cool. All right, and then I'm just going to throw a little bit of pepper on the top. And I also want a little bit more of this everything bagel seasoning. Okay, bam. All right, sun dried tomatoes, ginger, slap your mama. That's that. All right, so that's dinner. That really is dinner. Y'all see? Just some stuffed avocados with some sun dried tomatoes, some um, hummus, some uh, queso, cauliflower queso cheese. And, um, sorry y'all, we're forgetting. <laughs> Cauliflower queso cheese, um, season to your liking. You really don't have to do what I do, but I put everything bagel seasoning. I did some seasoned pepper. I did some, um, pink Himalayan salt. Okay. Um, put a dollop of day of, of dollop of daisy, a dollop of hum uh, hummus on top and some of that cauliflower queso cheese. And that's it. There's my salad. Okay, there's my salad. And then, um, I'm gonna put a little kimchi on my plate because why not? I'm, I'm actually falling in love with kimchi, I'm really enjoying eating it. I was kind of nervous about, oh, you know what, y'all? That's what I want. Um, where my pink pickle okra at? There we go, them pickle okra. Pickle okra. I'm gonna throw a couple of them on there on my plate because I just love pickle okra. Okay, throw a couple of them on there just real cute like that. Yeah, that's good. Okay, all right. So throw a couple of pickle okra on there as well. So this is all veggies, all vegetables. Raw vegan. We got the queso cheese. You can make the queso cheese at home. Um, you soak some uh, cashews. You can use your nutritional yeast. Season to your liking. That's pretty much all the queso cheese is. It's just called. It's just cashews and nutritional yeast, and then you season it properly how to your taste. And then we got the salad. Okay. The salad on here as well. And then we got some pickle okra. Okay. So that's it. That's done. I'm done. Um, <laughs> so uh, that's dinner. And I'm, a, I'm about to smash this. Um, and then most likely I'm going to get some type of sweet tooth after dinner like I always do. And I'll most likely eat a couple of strawberries or something like that just to kind of make me feel like I ate some something sweet today. Um, another tip that I recently found was if you are someone who um, is not doing re raw vegan, but you're trying out vegan food. If you need something sweet at nighttime, look at that back fat. Just the disrespect. OK, the disrespect. But if you need something sweet, if you have some strawberries, put them on a piece of parchment paper inside of the oven. Put the oven on 200. Let that cook for about 30 minutes or until the top of the um, strawberries start looking like they're dried out, start drying out. Um, take those off. Let them cool. That's some strawberry candy for you. Raw strawberry candy. OK, so that's just a little quick nugget of piece of information that I got for you. Mm. Y'all, for a long time, 
this is why I like being raw vegan or vegan in general. Because for a long time, I didn't like okra. Every time I tried it, it was either boiled or fried. And y'all know when it starts being cooked, it becomes slimy in the middle, right? Mm -mm. When it's raw, when it's raw like this, it's not slimy. So I like pickle okra. I actually have started liking it more than I like. I've actually started liking it more than I like pickles. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? But mm -hmm. this is good, y'all. Mm. Let's try avocados. Day three. If you don't focus on what it is that you're trying to avoid, it makes it easier. You know what I mean? Focus on your cans. Focus on what you can do versus what you can't do. And it makes it a lot um, a lot easier to, to make these changes. Okay? If you say, oh, yeah, I can't eat fried foods. Then, of course, the only thing you're going to think about the whole time is the fact that you can't eat fried foods and then what happens. That's all you're going to focus on. Hold on. dogs and on the floor just wait for something to something to crawl off the floor i mean to get on the floor so she can eat it not crawl i ain't got no bugs man. <laughs> but yeah if you focus on what you can eat versus what you can't eat it makes the day go by a lot easier okay a lot easier so just remember that when you are you know thinking about everything you're trying to process this is some avocado stuffed with sun-dried tomatoes. I seasoned it to my liking, but I use everything bagel seasoning. Some salt, some pepper, some ground ginger. And then I topped it off with a dollop of hummus. <laughs> and some cauliflower uh, queso cheese. It's good, y'all. Mm. I ain't gonna make y'all sit here and watch me eat, y'all. But if you have any questions, if you have any questions, then hit me up. And uh, we can go from there. All right. Peace and blessings, y'all. I'm out. I'm about to sit down, eat my food, <laughs> and watch some um, Designated Survivor. Y'all like the show? Designated Survivor. Have y'all seen it? It's a good show, y'all. It's real good. I've been enjoying it. Where is my child at? Upstairs oh, in her room. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. This food is so good. Mm, 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 mm. I still got a little, a little soft in here. <laughs> oh, I ain't even taking no picture. All right, let me get off here so I can take a picture real quick <laughs> before I eat this other half. I'll see y'all later. Please and blessings, you already know it. Listen, when you commit to something, it's changing your mindset. That's it. Just change your mindset. All right? Mind over matter. That's it. Love you guys.